Hey guys, what's up? It's Jabum here, and tonight we've got something a little special for you all. We're going to be running a race of the Mario 3 ROM hack that Mitch Flower Power made. Um, this race is for beginners only and has a $100 prize pool. So these guys are all very motivated to learn this game and get good at it. And uh, we're hoping to find a lot of new cool runners to watch on your channels. Um, so they're all, you know, itching to go. So we're going to get into this real fast. Um, so when I say go, all of you racers get ready to move. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, they should be off any second now. There's a little bit of delay on their streams versus what I'm going to get. Um, as we can see, the bear is uh, going a little bit earlier than everybody else, but the timers will keep everybody in check. That'll be what we uh, look at at the end. Um, already taking a death over there for Bach, while Bear is getting through that first level in about 20 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, not a lot of great P-Speed strats for this hack yet, mostly just because um, it's brand new. P-Speeds come later. Um, nobody has like a great P-Speed strat for a hack they've just picked up. Um, but everybody's looking pretty good. They've had about 24 hours to start working on this. And, uh, you know, you can already see a little bit of progress. Most people have a pretty good understanding of at least where everything is going to be. They just uh, don't have any muscle memory built up for it yet. Um, most people have moved on to the second stage where Bear in the top right-hand corner has actually made it all the way to the third level. While um, on the bottom left-hand corner we can see a little bit of struggle and uh, he's gonna be uh, a little bit behind. Uh, there's a little maze here in level two. Uh, Mitch wanted to throw that in. Uh, it's really funny actually. He's designed it specifically in a way that if you try to do any of the clips that are available to you, you will lose time. Uh, Mitch did not want anywhere where there was going to be a complicated trick that would actually put you ahead of somebody else because he wanted these to be for beginners and it's actually really cool. Um, uh, no timer on Bach. That's okay. We know he's about nine seconds behind Bear, so that'll be okay. Um, <sighs> heading into the next level for him, uh, he's a little bit behind, but he actually has the strongest PB so far. So as he heads into level four here, he's actually going to, uh, probably be going for the, um, Oh, that's not the coin level. My bad. Um, Bear is on the coin level. Now, people were we were surprised people found this out so early. But on the coin level here, um, Mitch threw in a white mushroom house. So you see people collecting coins in this stage because you need every single coin in order to generate that white mushroom house. Um, he's actually put them in some pretty wild... Uh, squirrely places too like it's not that they're hard to get but it's hard to be doing p-speed strats or any sort of fast movement and uh, really get them fast um, as you'll see in the bottom left hand corner I think there was a game over and he had to restart the game restart or game overs in a hack that's just come out this soon are very common even in a speed run I mean if you were doing this for PBs that guy would just reset but you can't do that in a race. And I think this hack is really cool for a race because there are a lot of places to screw up. Um, it's going to have some amazingly fast PBs for lots of different people, but it's also going to be very difficult to race because of those little bits that are easy to mess up on. Yeah, a lot of people were very determined to skip the auto scroll, and... Uh, the only way to do that is by getting a P-Wing. As you can see, Bach has the P-Wing up there, and he's heading into the fort. Bear, he got the P-Wing, and he will be flying up into this pipe. This pipe goes to an instant exit in the level, and 
he'll uh, he'll move on without having to do the long auto scroll that comes with that level normally. Um, meanwhile, uh, Gimli on the bottom left is making his way back to the third level, so he's actually not as far behind as you would think. Phoenix is just getting into the fort, which is only a couple levels ahead. Although it is a short ROM hack, so even a couple levels is, is a pretty decent lead. Um, the fort is a pretty flat level. You can P-speed through it pretty easily. Uh, I see a lot of different kind of strategies coming around from it. Um, some people are doing the fort in just P-speed, run through. If you go really fast, the thwomps won't hit you when they fall. But some people want to slow down and get the fire so that they can kill the boom boom with fire instead of having to jump on him three times. That's a uh, pretty big time difference. And you'll see here that uh, in the top right, Bear is going behind this thwomp to go get a cloud. Um, we were not expecting people to find this so early in the uh, in the competition. We could have sworn that that was hidden well enough that people wouldn't think to do it, but people found it in less than a day. We were wrong. <laughs> I told Mitch I thought the cloud would be found first and the P-Wing second, but people just found both like almost immediately. Um, Bach is coming in here. He's right behind Bear. And again, Bach has the stronger PB, but Bear is just doing a very consistent looking run of this game. Uh, it looks very similar to his PB actually. Um, maybe 12, yeah, he's only like 13 seconds behind his PB, which means he's probably very consistent at the route that he is taking. Um, meanwhile, Bach is doing the uh, trials level, which means I guess he clouded the fort because the trials level is the one before the castle. And uh, a lot of people cloud this level, but it's a vi pretty big debate going on right now as to which one's actually faster. Um, for a race, there's a pretty good little uh, bonus to doing this level instead of the other one, in that you can get a hammer suit. Um, if you get the hammer suit, then you can kill Bowser with that. But um, Bear will finish first and save the princess, which means that he wins round one. We're going to be doing a best of three, though, here, guys. So um, sit tight. Uh, even if you were just looking for the winner of this race, we're going to keep going and I'm going to rank these like so if you look at the rankings and you see like first, second, third, fourth, we're going to add up the three scores at the end and come up with a overall win um, number and go for lowest score wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, Kerbo. Uh, those, the Thwomp looks way more fishy than the coins to me. Um, he put coins in a lot of different levels for different reasons, but the uh, the thwomp with the coins above it, I mean, it's it's just pretty. That looks pretty sketchy, um, but still, you know, it's all right. Bach coming in here with a second place finish. That was a uh, that was a bit longer than his PB by a decent bit. That was actually a PB for uh, for Bear, but that's still cool, you know. Um, the other two runners are making their way through. Um, down here, uh, Gimli is just making it to level 7, um, while Phoenix is in the second fort, so he's almost done. And what you'll notice is that the Marios are randomized colors. Um, that's something that was added very late in the process, but I think is really cool. Everybody's a bit different in color. Um, and I think that, you know, whoa, that was a big puff of smoke, Bach. Watch out for your lungs. Yeah, I'm really excited, actually, to see the next race of this, because uh, I know that Bach had a bit of trouble getting started in that, uh, in that race, but he does have the strongest PB. Um, so him and Bear are probably going to have another very close race coming up here. Um, meanwhile, Gimli is, uh, struggling to get some power-ups here because he wants to use those instead of 
going through as a tiny Mario, which is very dangerous for races. A lot of times, even in a race where um, people are using small Mario for PB, in a race you'll still see people pick up fire suits because um, it's just safer. Uh, but this probably wasn't the best level to do that since he does want to be small again to go in this door. Uh, I didn't really think about that when I started telling you about that. With the uh, fire flower in the trials level though, as you'll see for Phoenix on the bottom right, that is a level where you probably would like to have a little bit of safety. Um, <laughs> although he can also choose to take the hammer suit and get the assured kill on Bowser, basically. The Bowser is a very short fight, and it's pretty easy, but you have a very good chance of just killing yourself on it because it's you're tr jumping over a cliff that you really want Bowser to go down so people will get stuck on there sometimes. Um, so the hammer suit is definitely safer for the final kill, but I do think that you are sacrificing some time as the cloud saves you more time skipping that level than the other. Ooh, as you can see, uh, Gimli had a little bit of trouble there uh, getting Bowser to jump in the hole. Uh, it's a very... You have to be directly above the hole yourself while Bowser is above it, or else he's not going to go in the hole. Um, which is tough. It's uh, it's not the easiest way to do it. It's very easy with a raccoon tail. Uh, if you have a raccoon tail, you can just kind of float above it, um, and it's usually no problem. And the other two runners finished at almost the exact same times too which is pretty cool. So the top two and the bottom two are very close in uh, in speeds here at the moment. Um, let me get into that. Hey guys, uh, all races have finished up so we can start round two in a second here. Um, first place was Bear, second place Bach, third place Gimli, and fourth place Phoenix. Um, after this, uh, we'll do another two races, and whoever has the lowest score among those placements is going to win. Uh, I'm really interested to see how uh, Bach and Bear here uh, duke it out in round two. Uh, Y'all had a very close finish. Um, so everybody get back on your main menu if you can. Reset your games and get ready for round two. All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah, sorry, Beatnik. This is a bit uh, ad hoc and thrown together. Um, we try to be good here about, you know, doing a high-quality stream, but it was a roughly put-together thing. All right, level one, and we already have a death from Gimli. Poor little guy. And Bach, he's doing it again. I know he doesn't want to, but everybody took a death except for Bear this time. Bear got through again with no death. He uh, has a frighteningly consistent run, it looks like. it's. Uh, I didn't see him die, really, in the other thing, even though he does not have the P-Speed strats that some other people have come up with in other levels. Although that was a really good one for level 2, so he's definitely practiced that one. Um, Bach and Gimli are basically tied right now for getting into level 2. Uh, they're getting into level 2 right as Bear is leaving it. And just now we have Phoenix exiting level 1. Um, entering level 3 is Bear. He's uh, got a decent little lead here for such a short hack. Um, but he is, he's got some uh, slower swimming moves. Ooh, and falling into... Oh, and eaten by Boss Bass. That's going to set him back. Now Bach has pulled into the lead over a boss bass kill. 
I, I'm really glad that Mitch put in a boss bass because we all know that we needed one of those. Um, and, uh, oof. But Bach is going to take another death in that level, too. Not to boss bass, though, which is surprising. Um, with this everyone's gonna be in the same stage here oh what the hell happened there that's not normal um poor bach um <laughs> we got another boss bass kill on the uh bottom right he's uh holding people back but the bear is moving forward up top right um He's got a pretty good little P-Speed strat for this fourth level here, it looks like. That's pretty good. Um, honestly, I don't know how resets are handled in this type of race, but... I don't know if we should stop a whole race for one person getting a corruption. <laughs> yeah, it's a credits warp. <laughs> if only. If he had accidentally credits warped, we would have had to have uh, made a warpless category for the game. Just to, uh, for the sake of the run. You've got a bear up here in uh, level 5, getting the coins. Um, again, it's a very strange thought process for a person in a speed run to get coins. Um... It takes you out of the element that you were in. Uh, and you start having to think about collection over just going right fast. Um, Bach is actually blazing through these first two levels again, though. Like, he's actually got a good chance of catching up to uh, some of these. Um, entering the White Mushroom House, you've got Bear getting the P-Wing. The P-Wing is going to be useful for the skip. Which I'm not sure everybody did the skip last time, but uh, it's um, not 100% that it's uh, saving everybody time, but it's a pretty good idea if you can get the coins fast enough to use it. Um, as you can see, Bach is already done with level three. He is really blazing back in, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be able to make it to um, Bear, but he has a shot at. Catching up to the uh, the Phoenix and Gimli pair. Whew. P-Wing coming in handy now as he flies straight up into a pipe, which ends the level for him. Um, I think Bach is probably pretty on tilt over there. He uh, with the game o or the uh, game corruption, it's really just kind of a. It's difficult to uh, to come back from that, mentally especially. Um, I think that, you know, right now with the hack in the state that it's at, uh, everyone's got shot, you know. Even if, even if uh, you're behind by a couple levels, you got people can fall into the hole in the Bowser fight at the end. They can run into some stuff blind here in the forts. Uh, you never know what could happen. It's it's always give it your best shot, even if you're behind by a bit. And uh, making it through as little Mario um, Phoenix is finished with the first fort now. Um, Gimli went for fire strats, but he ended up ended having to fight a small Mario anyways, just uh, from having getting hit too many times but it was a good thing he got those flowers because it was definitely faster to get the fire flower and take the couple hits than it would have been to die so good on him good choice um bach in the coin collection level getting his uh white mushroom house to load uh he's gonna be coming up upon the fort after this and then he'll be in the same level as everybody else. <laughs> what are you talking about, Kanga? Stop what? And there's his P-Wing. Um, Bear, on the other hand, is in Fort 2, which is significantly ahead of our other racers. 
Um, he did not choose to cloud this stage, so that means that he will be clouding level 9 and going straight into the Bowser fight. Oh, and Bach has corrupted his game again somehow. So I think that what we're going to do is just call this a... Uh, not not like a forfeit, we just won't average it into his, uh, his placements. Um, so at the end, you know, if somebody's got first, 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 that would average to one if he's got, you know, first, or second, second blank, then it would average to two. Um, I think we can mathematically make this work. Kanga's calming people down, that's probably good. Let me uh, enter the voice chat and just uh, tell Bach what's, what I think is going on. Hey, Bach. Um, I see what's happened over there a couple times now, and uh, I think that I've got a mathematical way to give you a fair ranking at the end of this, but I, you should probably just wait until game three at this point to, <laughs> to try again. Um, basically, at the end, we'll we'll average everyone's placement, and uh, yours will just be divided by two instead of three. All right, so now we've got a real race here between the two guys on the bottom. Uh. Gimli is entering the Bowser fight. He had a little bit of a struggle with this last time, but looks like he's maybe he's learned from that and he'll get it right in one go this time. Nope, not one go. It's going to take him at least a couple. He's oh, and he takes a death. Oof. That sucks. Um Meanwhile, Phoenix is getting through Fort 2, so he's going to be at level 9, and if he has a cloud, that means he's probably using it here, and he'll be on the same level. Unfortunately, because he used a cloud, um, Gimli is stuck doing the Trials level, which is one of the longest levels in the game, and the hardest, because it's the Trials. There he goes. They're almost in the exact same spot, but we do see that Phoenix has fire, which is a stronger place to be in. Um, now they're in the same, but uh, Gimli is a little further ahead in the level, which is great. Um, he's taking it nice and slow. He's not taking any risks. He's going to wait for a mushroom and not go for anything too risky. Meanwhile... Blazing ahead in speed, you've got Phoenix trying to go for speed strats. Oof, but then he takes a death as small Mario. Very risky in the trial stage, just uh, trying to blaze through it. Um, this puts Gimli back in the lead among those two. Um, And he is going to be able to go into the Bowser fight without any risk of uh, going back, since there's no more cloud issues. Uh, so now it's just about getting that Bowser to fall into the pit. Uh, jumped a little late there. If he had jumped a little earlier, he would have gotten him in the pit. Um, let's see if he can do it on round two. Nope, he's going to wait for a third. He might not be comfortable with getting him to jump in in that small space. Um... Oh, he missed again. That time he jumped a little early uh, because he fell on the other side. Um, I'm not sure why he's staying in that corner. Since uh, Bowser has no hitbox in his lower half, you can just kind of run around near the underside of him and uh, wait for him to jump closer to the edge. But he might be afraid of the fireballs, which is totally... Uh, it's, it's worth thinking about. Um... Yeah, for those people in chat, that's a pretty normal number. A six-minute run for a PB, that's pretty normal, but not for a race. I don't think that's that's a normal number for a race. Oof. And Gimli's taking another death, which is uh, really 
it's putting them in the same level again, and they're going to have another photo finish just like last time. Um, oh, he's having so much trouble getting that Bowser to just fall into the pit. It's uh, Looks like it's uh, going to be Phoenix, though, with the number three finish this or number two finish this game since uh, Bach had the corruption. Um, great job to Phoenix. He caught up really well, and he does, does the he knows the Bowser fight clearly at least a little bit better. Um, if he wants to get competitive, we're gonna want to see Gimli really work on this Bowser fight. Those fireballs are actually really screwing him up. I think he's afraid to jump at the moment that he needs to jump because there's a fireball in the way of the jump itself, and uh, that's gonna it's gonna be tough. Oof, another, you know, these are just tough, tough Bowser jumps. Um, if you stand very, very close to the edge, you can actually get Bowser to position himself perfectly without ever jumping. But then you have to rush away from that spot when you see he's going to fall. Um, it's, it's not that tough of a pit. It's just, uh, it's scary. Um, you have to, you have to throw away your fear for that pit and really, um, commit to your jumps at the correct time. But. Oof. And then Bowser did that weird slow jump. That was kind of funny too. Although I thought it was, you know, hilarious. It's, it's a tough jump for the runner. Uh, I'm not sure that standing in the corner is doing him any favors between those uh, right side jumps. Oof. I wonder if that was input lag or if he was just, uh, or if he's just giving up. Oof. Right into the fire again. I don't know. That one seemed a bit weird. I don't know about that one. Um... Like, maybe he's just decided to kill himself if he doesn't get it. There he goes. He's got it. Uh, GG, Gimli. And we're going to move on to round three. All right, guys. GG on that one. Um, we got Bear coming in first. And Phoenix in second with uh, Gimli coming in in third on that round. Um, Bach is taking a null victory there. Um, not victory, but null time, and we'll try to think of a way to factor that in afterwards mathematically. Um, great job, though, everyone. Um, if you're ready for round four, um, reset, get to your menus. Uh, I'm sure that the guys who have been trying, hopefully all the cart stuff is fixed over there, Bach, because uh, we don't want to see another loss due to Equipment failure. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, start the countdown again. Get ready. Um, is Phoenix around? I don't see him on the menu on my screen. Could you pop in real quick, Phoenix, and uh, let me know if you're here? Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. here. Just making sure. Um, no all right, guys. Get ready. Three... Two, one, go. Now, I'm a bit behind everybody, so when I say go, uh, y'all aren't going to see them immediately start going, for those of you who are just getting here. Um, but we'll see them all generally start at about the same time. Um, it looks like Phoenix might have a little bit of a delay on his side. Um, but everybody's starting level one here. Um, Bach taking another early death. Again, he was, uh, he's getting some of the strongest PBs right now, but he's, uh, having trouble with these races. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe I get nervous. I have a really hard time starting races like that. Um, but Bear and Gimli finishing level one in a very respectable quick speed. Um, you have got these blocks in level one too that a lot of people aren't sure how to deal with right now. At least they don't know the uh, the, the fastest strat for getting through. I think we're going to see a lot of people doing that a lot of different ways as we go on through this uh, 
through this kind of April madness of uh, hack racing and uh, speed running. It's going to be really great. Um, you can see that Phoenix is going for the safe strat of getting fire right off the bat. Some people are staying small Mario and just gunning it through all the stages. Uh, I really like getting a fire flower for, for the first few levels, especially when you're in this boss bass level that everybody else is on. If you fall in the water, you have a shot to burn him down, uh, which it's really easy to fall into the water and have to defend yourself for a while. Um, Bear is going to go ahead and finish this level, though, in a very respectable 1 minute and 24 seconds. He's doing another great job. He's uh, definitely one of the more consistent runners going on here. Um, I haven't heard of any of these guys before today, but I'm really looking forward to watching all their progress in this um, contest. Um, there, you see Bach and um, Bach and Bear. That's why it's so hard. They're both bees um, going through the same stage here. They're uh, finishing up almost at the same time, nearly neck and neck. But uh, Phoenix is just one level behind. He is going to get the triple star. That's a pretty good strat if you think that game over is a possibility at, at all. If you think that there is a possibility of game overing, you go ahead and get those stars. Because it's actually only like a three second time loss to get the star card. Most people don't understand how long a normal end screen is. So when they see the star, it looks like this huge time loss. It's actually not. Um... Now you'll see the top players in the coin collection stage with um, Gimli just a little bit behind also in the coin stage. Um, in this level, you have to get all the coins because there is a P-Wing in a secret white mushroom house that only appears if you get all the coins in this level. Um, with that P-Wing, you'll later see them use it to do a level skip. It's really going to come down to the wire between Bach and uh, Bear again, it's looking like. Their, their text was almost scrolling at the exact same pace. Um, Bear has a slight lead on him via timer, so it's a little hard to determine right now um, who's actually in the lead without a closer examination of a pause screen. Um, but the other two players are one level behind um, just doing that coin collection. Uh, it looks like they just haven't routed quite as much of the coin collection as they would like. Um, taking the dangerous strat, though, uh, Phoenix is just skipping the coin collection entirely and just running through the level. Uh, no regard for the coins or the P-Wing. So we'll see how that works out for him. The fire suit is going to give him a lot of safety in the fort, at least. Um, the top players use that P-Wing to go straight through the level. Um, very quick. It's a basically a non-level if you have that P-Wing. Um, oof. Bach taking a lot of damage here. Trying to just boost his way through the level. And it did get him through the level much quicker than Bear. However... Bear is in a strong position with a level 3 power-up that Bach does not have. Then again, for this level that Bach has entered, there is a cloud that you can pick up, but only as small Mario. So because of his small Mario-ness, he's going to be able to get that without taking any damage. On the other hand, it was less safe to get to the skip that he wants to do. Um without coming in with a power-up. But he had no problems, he uh, didn't get hit, and he did it very fast, so he's gonna be rewarded with that a pretty sizable lead there. Ooh, Gimli almost didn't make it into the pipe with the P-Wing. That would have been absolutely uh, detrimental to his run. Um, ugh, sorry about the lag, guys. Um, little bit of a hiccup there. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, just got to bear a little bit behind everybody now. Um, I'd fix his, but it's uh, 
it would be easier if he was ahead of everybody else. <laughs> so how are you guys in chat liking this new hack? It's a very short hack, but it's uh, really exciting to me. Um, a lot of speedrun potential, a lot of um, racing fun. You know, a lot can go wrong. And uh, you see Bach finishing this in first place. So Bach coming in with a first place, a null place, and a second place um, for an average of 1.5. And we see in the bottom left that we've got another person going for a cloud. Uh, we'll see if Phoenix is going to skip this power up as well and just try to blow through the stages like he did um, the P-Wing stuff. Um, at this point, he's a bit behind though, so it's, uh, I'm not sure if it was because he didn't take the P-Wing or if it's something else, but nope, he's just going to blow through the level. He does not care about the cloud at all. Coming in second place, we got the bear. Um, bear now has first, first, second. So he's going to come in with an average of about 1.3, um, giving him the overall win here. But very, very close races between him and Bach. Ooh, falling into the lava. Phoenix is going to definitely be falling behind here a little bit. Um, also, he doesn't have a cloud, so if Gimli can win here with his raccoon suit, then we will be seeing him get his third place finish. And oof, the fireballs are really killing Gimli on these uh, on this Bowser fight. They're very hard to predict, so I get that part. But it is something that, as a runner, he is going to have to figure out a way around. Oof, another devastating blow. Um. Because he did not complete it, he will have to go through the trials because the cloud, although it lets you skip a level, if you die in the next level, it does set you back to where you were before. Which is, uh, it's tough stuff. Uh, it puts him in almost the exact same positioning as Gimli. They're, uh, they're almost in the exact same spot. However, Phoenix is a little more safe with the mushroom power-up. And now the fire. Uh, I think that getting this mushroom is a great choice for Gimli, even though it's taking time. I'd be scared right now that, you know, I'm behind everybody. Um, but you really want to take, take your time and uh, get your stuff. If you're... Dying is always slower than just doing a level um, less fast. Almost always. I can't say always, but you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Um, I'm not crazy. Yeah, I think that it was meant to be short, though, Kanga. You know, it's uh, this is for beginners, and it's you want something that they can play a lot of, get good muscle memory for, um, but not overwhelm them. And I think that this hack has done that perfectly for these people, and for a lot of others. And yes, doing it with four screens is tough, but you know. And Phoenix coming in third place again for the overall position of third place. Um, he'll take that. Uh, both times, Gimli made it to the Bowser fight ahead of Phoenix, but he just could not pull out the, uh, the win there. Kind of upsetting, but you know. Now, um, Gimli has a clear place that he needs to work on, and uh, Phoenix, after he watches the video, I'm sure he's going to want to think about rerouting for some of those uh, skips that he did not take in this particular um, race. 
Uh, he got a PB though, it looks like. Um, that was a PB for Phoenix, which is really cool. I like seeing people get PBs in races. It's, it's just awesome and fun. Um, I'm not allowed to play this hack, Moldy. Um, this is for beginners only. Uh, only people in Mitch's competition are allowed to play it. Um, I would be a bad person to, you know, put this on. <laughs> Good times. Well, I would like to, I'm going to pop in and congratulate all the runners. Um, all right, guys. Uh, congratulations to all of you on finishing these races. Uh, they were all really fun to watch. Bach and Bear, you guys had some really good back and forth there in all the races where you guys played. Um, because of the way I was doing it, the, the averages, um, Bach, you got second place to Bear's first place. Um, Bear got two first places and a second. You got a first to a second. Those average out to a bear win but hopefully next time you don't have any technical issues and uh we can do this again some other week and we'll see how it's going when uh everybody has much better speed strats made up um i was very impressed with how consistent you were bear um almost always you know having very similar starts to the game pretty cool stuff uh y'all can uh, unmute too if y'all want to discuss um I'd really like to hear how you felt about all those uh, technical issues, Bach. It must uh, must be pretty awkward. <laughs> oh man, I was I'm super annoyed. Like, first off, I died twice at the beginning on my first run, so I knew I was I knew I was gone there. And then the second time, I died once, and then I was like, all right, maybe I can come back. And then two crashes in a row. Yeah, I saw the I saw the two deaths, and I was like, oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> you just had trouble getting level one to go your way. But you know, I was tilting, man. <laughs> races are a totally different thing than trying to get a PB, and I think that shows a lot in these um, in these races. Like you had the best PB coming into this by far, but Bear came in here. He had he got PBs during the race, and. Uh, you know, he he got some wins. Yeah, oddly enough, I had a really hard time putting any run together outside of this race. I had reset after reset, and then as soon as the race came, came, came on, I just was able to get through it somehow. Yeah. First, I'm so nervous. Wanted to get that really nice piece of speed, level one. Just kept messing it up, game over. It was bad. Yeah. I'm not used to races, and whenever I mess up PCP level 1, I just reset. <laughs> well, Gimli, also, in two different races, uh, you got to the Bowser fight before oh, Phoenix. Bowser was being such a frig. Yeah, you, you got to Bowser an entire level before Phoenix did, and Phoenix oh. ended up just inching you out twice on oh, on the whole race. Because, yeah, like, I'll, I'll go into it, and I have a setup to get him to fall in, and both times I just mess it up and oh my god it was bad and I, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to watch back the VOD to figure out that setup because I, I have no idea how to beat Bowser other than just kind of what I did just kind of inch and hope and pray that he goes into the pit yeah, so the way I do it is I get right on the um, far right block on the top on mm -hmm. the left side and when he fires you dodge his fireballs. I normally have either a um, a leaf or a mushroom, and then you wait to see him um, jump up and right. There's like a little cue I use with this animation, and then that's when you jump over and they'll fall in. But both times I messed it up, couldn't recover, and oh man. Yeah, I think something a lot of people don't think about during that fight is that Bowser doesn't have a hitbox in his lower part, so you right. can you can yeah, get a lot closer to Bowser than people think you can when you're jumping under him. Yeah, and, uh, that is just oh man, it just I, wasn't for me. I I've seen it beforehand too. I I really tried uh, all the time to try and go into the Bowser fight at least with another power up if I needed it for some reason if he decided to, you know, kamikaze at me or whatever it is. But uh 
No, I, I, I didn't have a, a Strat at all, and I'm, I'm lucky I didn't I didn't have too many problems as far as I know. This is uh, like the second, third, and fourth time I've actually ran through the games, so I don't really have any, any speed Strats, but I'm, I'm interested in seeing what everybody... Uh, yeah, you're definitely you're definitely gonna want to watch the VOD. Phoenix uh, did not use the P wing or Cloud guys. I had no idea where they were there until about five o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> uh, so I, I had, like I said, I haven't done any exploration in the game yet. So. Yeah, I wasn't able to boot up the game until 4 p.m. So I was just racing, trying to figure out everything, and scrolling through the Discord. Where's this? Where's this? So. I, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, definitely had a really, really good time. time. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Thank you. I'm excited to do it again and yes. not be as terrible. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to set up more of these. Maybe, you know, some other week. Um, probably um, probably in, within at least the next week, uh, we'll, we'll set up another one. I don't know if it'll be within a week, but we'll set it up. Um, but uh, yeah, really great having you guys. Um, Y'all did a really great job for this hack existing for one night. You know? <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. I'm really impressed with all of you. Um, and good luck to you in getting the good PBs. But don't forget to also look into your race strats. Yes. What's good for a PB yeah. is not always what's best for a race. Yeah, I exactly. figured that out right away. <laughs> <laughs> no, third, third race, I turned my splits off. I had my splits on and they're tilting me, I was like, oh, I'm behind, like, I'm turn on, I'm just going to go. Yeah. And third race was my best, by far. Well, cool. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to be getting off then, and I'll talk to you guys in the Discord. Right, sounds good. Perfect. Thank, thank you, Gavin. Thank yep. you. Later, and uh, thank you, guys. It's been a great race. Thank you. And don't forget to check YouTube for the, for the VOD. Okay, sounds yep. good. Perfect. Thank you. See you guys later. All right, guys, uh, those of you watching the stream, I am really happy you guys came out and watched this race. Uh, I had a lot of fun hosting it, and I wasn't expecting, like, how close some of these runners were. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new strats and stuff that come out. That being said, I'm going to be signing off early tonight since I didn't really have time to set up a smooth transition from this to anything else. Uh, I hope you all have a good night. We are going to be hosting somebody. Hmm. That looks like a pretty good one. Hey Mitch, I got the ROM to work for my Nest Classic.